Happy birthday or whatever. He's no hank. What is it? Well, it's nothing, just a dumb singer maid. Something special for the Clean Plate Club. I told you I don't like strawberries. More for me, then. Is Dale my other dad now? Well, no. I mean, he and your dad haven't been together that long. But if they got married... Not legal. Was there two men? If they did, well, you know how Ennis here is my stepfather married my mom after Grandpa passed? Well, I guess Dale would become your stepfather. I think. I honestly don't know how it works. No, I know how it works in the Bible. Shut up, Grandpa. Look at that shot. This is giving me proper Lebowski flashbacks. She is attractive. Nikki is attractive. Dummy. Sorry. <laughs> You're the dummy. Right. No. And the tone was uh, biblical, like uh, Eden Village, Eden, Eden Valley. Triple goddamn bingo. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Oh, shit, they're in Eden Valley. I'm not buying anything. Just give me the phone book. No. Oh, shit. No. Give me the, give me the damn phone book. Oh, no. Jesus, what, Grandpa? What's going on? It's a model. I left the model. Oh, hold on. It's late. Swing by in the morning, maybe pick it up, huh? No. No, he made it for me. I have to. Okay. Okay, let me flip a B word. Oh dear. Shit. Fuck. Oh no. He's too still. He's too still. He's. Throat singing. It's just me, just she moves very well with that guy. Didn't find it.
What the heck? Like I said, simpatico. Third runner-up. In the Olympics, that's bronze. Now oh, see? <laughs> that's the kind of thinking that's gonna take us straight to the top. What's happening? So, I got him, Ray. I did. I sure hope that fellow with the stamps wasn't a friend of yours, Ray. Because, well, let's just say, when an ex-con threatens you, demands the goods, the smart money says cooperate. Shit, but... Mm -hmm. What did you do? N nothing. Just what you asked. Drove out to Eden Valley and robbed your guy. The rich one. Although, I gotta say, the place wasn't exactly a palace. Prairie. Come again? Eden Prairie. Hmm? Ray, did you hire one of your parolees to steal money from your brother? Yes. This is our time. It is so... romantic. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> I think she might be his perfect woman, though, as an aside. It's... what are you... it's stamps! What did you do? Listen, don't be... putting your hands on oh, me! Oh, shit. You're raising the tone of your... I think I covered my tracks pretty good. And look, since you touch me, I'm gonna have to demand a dollar value. Five thousand. Which is more than fair, considering the fellow we robbed is probably dead. What's your name, handsome? Is she gonna do... It's Maurice. Okay, Maurice. Can you give me a towel? Maybe we can discuss this in the living room. I'm like civilized people. Get out, Ray. I'm giving you till tomorrow to get my money. Five thousand. Otherwise, you know, maybe I turn you into the cops. Wow. Hun. Three floors, ten seconds per floor. Hun, what? What? What are you? What's she doing? Front like hall. Eat. Babe. Not now. What it? Shut up! 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 8, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. Is he out? What? The other window. Do you see him? Get him! Get him! Go! Go! He's coming, hurry! Kick it. Oh my god! Oh my god! They crushed you like a grape! Get down the right world there. will not miss you, Marie. No.
Holy shit. Yes, no, 911? There's been an accident on the sidewalk. The, the air conditioner, my... Can't trust, you gotta go. What? Oh, thank God. It's 940 Hanover Street. Hurry, please. There was an accident. I've been trying to get the landlord to take that unit out for like six weeks. That's on record. And tonight, I don't know. She must have come loose somehow. You're his parole officer. You can't be here. She's amazing! Yeah, but... I love you. Baby, you have no idea. Yes, I, I hear the sirens. Thank you. She's right or die. Yes, I'll hold. That was amazing. And Grace, but mostly amazing. Oh, man. Your dad's here. You take him to Dale's, huh? I'm not sure how long. Whatever you need. I already turned the lights on in his room. I'm gonna stay with mom. No, I'm, mommy's gotta work now. He's gonna give a damn. Son of a bitch! That was a really promising start. Really promising start. It definitely slower um, than season two. I think the pace of the episode felt much more like season one. But I liked it. I did. I really did like it. So we've got Emmett and Ray Stussy. They're brothers. When their dad died, like I don't know if he left like Emmett the car and Ray the stamps. And basically, he. Emmett kind of reverse psychology Ray to get him to have the car and him to have the stamps because Emmett understood that the stamps, even though they just looked like it was a stamp or whatever, it was actually worth a hell of a lot of money and a lot more than a car. But well, obviously, Ray as a kid is seeing this flashy car and thinking, if it's between that and a stamp collection, I'll go with the car. And now he's all bitter and twisted about it. Okay. He shouldn't be bitter and twisted, though, because he's got the most amazing girlfriend in the world. He needs to get the fuck over it and move on in a happy life playing cards with Nikki, who I love. She is my favourite character right now in this, um, from this first episode. And I, I like the fact that they do that Coen Brothers-like surprise where it's just in this situation. You're like, oh, my God, how are they going to get the $5,000? Oh, God, he's really going to get caught and found out. And you're still in that in the world of what the hell just happened. Nikki's already like, boom, 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 right. She's counting down in her, in her head already. She knows exactly. She probably knew what she was going to do before the, the, before the scene with Maurice even ended. So she's fantastic. Um, we've got Maurice <laughs> briefly and Ennis. Stussy, who is also de now deceased. Um, I don't know what Carrie Coon's character's name is yet. I didn't put that up. I don't know if they said it, um, but it didn't go. I, I mean, they should have said it, but I didn't hear it. Um, then we've got the David Thewlis character from. Um, that was fucking weird. So Emmett borrowed about a million dollars last financial year looks like they put it to good use they've built a business they in fact they built up so much they can pay back a million dollars with interest literally just wire it across so he's doing well but unfortunately it looks like they are now officially money laundering services for whoever the hell mr thewlis is working for and it doesn't seem to be relevant that there was paperwork signed. I'm guessing whoever Thewlis works for are dangerous enough that that sort of thing just becomes a bit kind of academic. So that was that was really weird. He's creepy. 
It's really creepy. I was like... And I bet that's not even the close to the creepiest he's going to get in this season either. So I'm happy to see there's a proper baddie that makes me feel... I can't believe Ewan McGregor is, is playing the brothers. I re that really surprised me. And the funniest thing was, for a hot second, I thought, because I saw Emmett, and I was like, that is not fucking Brian Cranston. And then just as I was having a thought about it being Brian Cranston, the other guy was like, oh, we get in touch with Ehrman Traub. And I was just like, I think it's Ehrman Traub in this, and it's Ehrman Trout in, um, in Breaking Bad. But I just find it funny that I, I was thinking about Brian Cranston, and then they were like, Ehrman Traub. Anyway, it was not Brian Cranston, it was Ewan McGregor. I'm quite definite by the end of the episode. How do they get the cast for this? And why isn't everyone watching? Anyway, again. So Carrie Coon is the chief of police. So she's our Molly, I guess, in this scenario. And she's chief of police for Eden Valley. Or as Emmett lives in Eden Prairie. Different. I'm just trying to think if there are any characters introduced. Yeah, I'm not quite sure where the Germans come in all of those years before, but I'm sure as I edit and I listen to all the names, it'll be like someone's descendant or something who left Germany in 88 because of this situation. And I've probably seen the couple, you know, Helga and um, whatever his name was. It wasn't Yuri, I'll tell you that. Yeah, it's, it's a compelling first episode it gave me a little surprise it gave me a laugh it made me laugh out loud and it gave me a teeny weeny little jump so i'm impressed that's a pretty good start i liked it i think i've got like a million questions like what's the relationship between ennis stussy and emmett and uh ray is there any was he their dad and actually still alive and he never died? I'm really keen to see how these cases are going to come together. Because right now you're looking at it and thinking, well, Maurice, Maurice is dead. So the link, the, there, there's no phone calls between them. No one else knows what the relationship between Maurice and Ray was. And Maurice broke into a house completely unrelated to Ray or Emma. So on the face of it, it looks like that one's closed down, but I'm thinking somehow, some way, uh, these characters are all going to end up coming together. So I'm really interested about how how is this thing going to go horribly wrong? Because that is what's going to happen. <laughs> that's, that's sort of the theme of Fargo. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, yeah, until the next time. Bye-bye.